Right guys, this video is so pointless, I don't even know why I'm bothering to make it. How to make Windows 10 look like Windows 8. So it's even got a full screen, kind of like start menu thing, which is incredibly ugly. It, it, this video is honestly pointless, so if you want something good or fun to do or decent to do, I recommend you just go and watch another one of my videos, because seriously, this video is pointless. I just made it, because then um, it makes a full set, you know? I've done Windows Vista, I've done XP, I've done 7. I may as well just do Windows 8, because uh, this does apply, apply for 8.1 as well. Um, in fact, this is more or less 8.1. So, anyway, before I do anything, I go make a Windows 10 again. So, and if you really, and guys, if you really want proof that this is Windows 8 or 7, no, not 7. If you really want proof, go away. If you really want proof. That this is no stop it. If you really want proof that this is like Windows 10, here you go. Windows 10. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, guys, we're in Windows 10 now. And by the way, I am not going to show you how to install it because I've done that a million times already. If you really want me, I'll leave a link in the description onto a guide on how to install this thing, okay? Because I've showed like a million of a million times how to install it. Um, so yeah, I'm not showing how to install it this time because that's just kind of pointless. So in this 108 folder that you can download off the internet, we have 8.ping. 8 back dot ping and the classic shell, shell download if you really need it. Um, of course, once it's download, it will look a bit like this, everything will. Um, so, first we need to go to classic shell and then classic shell start settings. So, if we open this back up to full, I don't even normally do this, but we will. We're going to hit replace start button with custom and we're going to pick an image. And this image is 8 dot ping. Now it's a bit big right now so we're going to have to change this a bit. F first we want to make sure all of these are set to Windows Start Menu. Okay. Now in here we ignore this, we ignore this, we ignore this, we ignore this, we also ignore this, no, no. we ignore this, 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 we ignore this. And in fact I've gone straight past the one I'm looking for so I have to find it. Mm -hmm. That one. Okay. This needs to be set to a size of 45. But it's a bit of a weird one. Okay. So if we hit OK, we've got a nice start button now. We need to, and we're going, and I've already unpacked everything. So if I take 8 back dot pen and I set as desktop background, we have a Windows 8 background. Um, I need to make sure this is there. You go not full screen. Um, so we go to settings here. And then we go to personalization. Then we need to go to start. And we need to hit show more tiles. Occasionally show suggestion. So we basically need to tick all of these apart from the last one. Okay. And three, two, one. Nope. There we go. So it's, a, it's looking a bit more like Windows 8. In fact, we're finished here. So I hope you enjoyed this rather quick and pointless video. Goodbye.